Yes, guys. Good evening to all. This evening, I'm here at the Gun Hill Signal Station here in St. George once again, which is in the center of the island. And I'm again, I'm at the above terrace at the Gun Hill Signal Station overlooking the St. George Valley. And again, Gun Hill Signal Station is 700 feet above sea level and it gives awesome views of eight out of the 11 parishes in Barbados. Right now we can see into the St. George Valley and we can see into Christchurch which is to the south of the island and I'm looking in the southwestern direction now towards Bridgetown which is our country's capital where we can see the Scala Bay area which is just on the southwest coast of Barbados and we can see into Bridgetown where the central bank is, central bank of Barbados and all the Kensington Oval and so on and this is the restaurant section here and the bar section that can have the drinks and so on this is the restaurant section here Oh no, me at my way over to the signal station. No. So this is the restaurant, and this is the part where you can sit down and have your food and so on, and the part where you can purchase your food and your beverages and so on. Saint George is another central parish here in Barbados best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. I'm heading towards the signal station now, the signal station itself. So I think the parish of St. George is known as the breadbasket parish of Barbados and it is and it was carved out of the parish of St. Michael between 1640 and 1641. So St. Michael is the mother parish and St. George was carved out of it. So this is the Gun Hill Signal Station. The Gun Hill Signal Station was established in 1818 as a fortress to signal when the enemies were coming in. And then it was later acquired by the Barbados National Trust as a building of historic and architectural interest in 1982. This is the land at Gun Hill here, the land statue. And a brief history of the Gun Hill Signal Station underneath here as well. So the signal station is locked now. I won't be able to go inside. Inside the signal station is closed. So I'll just show you guys the views from here. Look at in the south, look at the easterly direction towards the lion at the bottom the lion at Gun Hill which was carved in 1868 by Captain Henry Wilkinson who was an officer at Gun Hill Signal Station and we can see all down to Gun Hill Road and we can see all into the St. George Valley we can see the Butley Plantation which is at, which was at Butley's in St. George and opposite the Butley's Plantation is the Butley's Sugar Factory which closed down in 2002 But least sugar factory closed down in 2002. So only Portville Sugar Factory is the only operating factory now. After Butley's closed, it was only Andrews and Portville running. When no Andrews closed, only Portville is running. Portville is in St. James and Andrew is in St. Joseph. You can see the rain falling over in the south in Christchurch. You can see all over to the estates at Body Hall in St. George. So we can see all down to St. George Secondary School at Constant, St. George. So the gate signal station is locked. It's locked now. 
and this is a building of historical architectural interest uh, but it's National Trust if you be running this this building now got this organization was opened by the right honorable John Michael Jeffrey Manningham Adams Queen's Council and Member of Parliament on November 24th 1982 John Michael Jeffrey Manningham Adams is just known as Tom Adams who was our second Prime Minister he succeeded our borough from 1976 to 1985. So from right here, you can see into the Bridgestone Port and the Water Harbor. And we can see the Roberts Manufacturing Company at Lower Estate in St. George. And we can see all the Bridgestone Port and the Water Harbor and all along the Cala Bay area, which is on the southwest coast of Barbados. And we can see the Warrens area, where the, which is known as a city away from the city, where businesses are moving out of town into the area. And we can see all up to St. Thomas, up all up to uh, Shop Hill and Edge Hill, and that side of St. Thomas. Yes, guys, the Gun Hill Signal Station. And again, we can see the St. George Parish Church, which is the second oldest place of worship in Barbados after St. James. St. George Parish Church was built in 1641 and we built in 1784. And again, I am 700 feet above sea level. See the um the CBC antenna at Gun Hill St. George. CBC is our radio and television station here in Barbados. CBC stands for Caribbean Broadcasting Corporation. And they also have an antenna in Sturgis St. Thomas, which is just above here. You can see it from here as well. So yes, guys, again, St. George and St. Thomas are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados, best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. So thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening. So this is St. George Parish Church in the center of the screen here, which is the second oldest place of worship in Barbados. Built in 1641 and we built in 1784 and it is less Georgian, less Goth and more Georgian, sorry. St. George Power Church is just down the hill from here in the Glebe St. George. And again, St. George is my father's birth parish. And for those of you who don't know who my father is, Satchmore that sings or that used to sing what she got to give me for Christmas. And I am a proud Barbadian and he wrote songs as well. For Wendy Allen, Shara Hackett, and Karen Leacock. He wrote Beautiful and Unspoiled for Shara Hackett. And he wrote a couple of songs for Wendy Allen and Karen Leacock as well. But Satchmore is my father, and he's from this parish of St. George. In Buckley, of Ellerton side, in Ellerton, St. George. You can see the rain falling over in Christchurch Church in that area now. So thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share and comment and subscribe to Dan Roy's Barbados Travel Vlogs on YouTube. Do have a blessed evening.